Hi, this is Deb from businessbuildingshortcuts.com. I want to show you how to annotate your YouTube videos. So first though, why in the world would you want to annotate a video? Well, there might be times when you want to add additional information to the video. We know that we sometimes promote products using video and perhaps then those products become unavailable but you don't want to take your video down because it's getting a lot of traffic, but you want to somehow redirect them to another video on YouTube. You can also use annotations to add a link to a video or to a whole channel on YouTube. Now, unfortunately, you can't use annotation to link to a URL that lives outside of YouTube. You have to have a sponsored video to do that, and that's the subject of another whole video. But what you can do is give a way for your viewers to go easily to the next video in a series, for example, direct users to a related video, or even take your viewers to another of your YouTube channels that might be related, but they may not yet have found. So let's go in and annotate a video in our YouTube channel. Here I am inside the BB Shortcuts YouTube channel, and the video that I want to annotate is actually a video that I have created to be unlisted. So it's not going to show up in this list. I want to have it go to a new video that I added. So what I'm going to do is go back up to BB Shortcuts, go to Videos, because I need to find the video I want to annotate. Here it is, how to write video descriptions that search engines love. And then you see here it's unlisted. So what I want to do is annotate it. So I'm going to click here and go to Annotations, and YouTube is Hi, going to Hi, this is Deb book. from Business Building Short. All right, we don't need to listen to that. Here under Annotations, you can see that it's going to show where we are with this link, and it goes to the end of the video. Now, what I want to do is add a note that's going to show up wherever I place it on the video, and this note is going to direct people to click on it and go to the other video about editing it on YouTube. So what I want to do is click Add Notation, and I want it to be a note. You see it could be a speech bubble, a note, a title for my slide if I forgot to add something, a spotlight, or I could cause my video to pause for a short period of time. But I'm going to add a note, and then I'm going to type in my note. I'll be right back. Okay, I've written in my description. Click here to learn how to edit your YouTube video from inside YouTube after it is uploaded. So I'm going to click right here on link, and then it gives me a space to put my URL. Now I already copied the URL from the video that I want it to direct to. And you just get that by opening the video in your window and then going up into the URL box and grabbing it there. Now YouTube added it up here, my annotation, so I'm just going to drag it down here because this is where I want it to be. The second thing I need to determine is the timing. So I'm going to scroll up so you can see the whole bottom piece here. Now, you can see where it's going to appear on the screen and this is where it will show up. Now I can either use the timing here and indicate that it's going to start at 723 and go until the end or I can simply drag these to indicate. Watch when I drag this how it changes in the timing box right here. So I don't want it to appear too soon. So I'm going to click it kind of right toward the end and I want it to be in place for that long. So it's maybe 20 seconds. That might not be long enough so I'm going to drag it a little bit longer. Now the next thing you would need to do is click the link there until you've added a link. If you want to add a link there is just a box here with a checkbox. When you click it, then you can choose if you want it to be a video, playlist, channel, all those things. I want to link to another YouTube video. So I choose video. In this box that appears, I put that URL for the video that I want them to go to when they click the link, and then I can even indicate when I want that to begin. I want it to open in a new window, and then you want to go up here and save it. This will say save and publish. Now YouTube can get a little bit weird. It can, if it's taking you too long to do this part, 
uh, it's not go it's going to go and lose connection with the server and you'll have to start over so what I would do is have all these things ready so that you can just paste them in here quickly and go ahead and then click Save and Publish. So I'm going to click Publish. And it's published. I can view my video here. So let's go look at it. It's going Hi, to come this in. is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts. Right. We don't need to listen to that. But what we do want to know is when we get down here to the end, does it actually allow me to jump? Does it show my annotation and does it let me jump? So I'm just going to click here and click back a little more. When you hover here, you can see that there is an actual URL that shows up right above it. So let me go ahead and click on this and see if it takes us to that video that we want to go to. Opened a new window and indeed, hi, this starts playing the video that I wanted to send people to. So it is just that easy to create an annotated video in YouTube. And you can use it, remember, just to add information to your video, or you can create an active clickable link using annotations. But the active clickable link with annotations needs to go to another video, channel, subscription, something that is already living on YouTube. So go and play around with annotations and see how you can use it to direct your viewers' attention.